I'm coming for you. Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of a, I'm not gonna call it a tutorial because I'm not a beauty guru. I am not a makeup artist. I too went to the school of YouTube to teach myself how to do makeup. So I wanted to at least share with you or show you guys what I do in order to do my looks, how I put my makeup on, at least for my eyes anyways, because I've gotten quite a few requests and I just feel like a schmuck trying to do a tutorial because that's just not who I am. Like I don't know, I'm not professional my makeup looks a mess y'all are gonna probably judge me hardcore for the status of my palettes that I show you guys so I just like I said I can't do a tutorial but I at least wanted to share with you guys talk you through what I actually do I have a very specific aesthetic when it comes to my eye look I'm not very neat and proper and cut creasy and you know doing all everything very carefully I'm more you know what you see right here blown out crazy eye smoky look this is my everyday go-to look so I've really been loving this eye look in particular lately I did it using the Anastasia soft glam palette again I know I'm gonna get some flack for the status of my palette but like I don't know I keep it in my makeup bag and it just collects all the dirt and not the dirt but all the makeup like it just why so let me know down below what you guys think of this type of a video, what y'all think of the look, what you guys would like to see from me in the future, um, makeup related or not, whatever you guys want to see. I would love to hear feedback and what you guys think. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, thank you for coming in and checking me out, checking me out. Um, if you'd like to stick around, feel free to subscribe, like this video, please pay my electric bill, whatever else you can do for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm like... Do I gotta sell myself? No, if you don't if you don't like the video, I feel you, I feel you. There are way other people, way other people, there are better people out there to be watching, but I'm still gonna put myself out there. So uh, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, report, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And you're about to see a scary ass face right here because it's gonna have big old brows and no eyeshadow on. So good luck to you, see you later, bye. Okay guys, don't freak out. This is totally normal. Let's zoom out. No! So, um, I obviously look a little bit weird. I have eye brows on and a full face on and no eye shadow and eye stuff. So, um, the way that I do my makeup, if you know, you've not watched, I think I have like one makeup video. Um, the way that I do my makeup is I do my base first, I do my brows, and then I go ahead and do my eye makeup. Um, that's just always the way I've done it. I know a lot of people do it the other way around. They do their eyes to prevent any fallout from happening on their base. But for me, like, I'm just too messy to be able to, like, blend out my concealer and my foundation without getting it in my eyebrows and, like, messing up this, like, beautiful blown out eyeshadow look I couldn't do it I can't do it I've tried it just not for me if y'all can do it that's great but you're gonna see like there are really no rules in makeup different strokes for different folks y'all can do it however you want to you know feel comfortable doing it this is just the way that I do it like I said before I'm not a makeup guru I'm not a professional I'm just gonna share with you what I do and hopefully that helps so um I'm just gonna do my typical look which is like blown out grungy kind of dramatic look I can't really put makeup on and not do like a super over-the-top look I just feel I feel naked like if I'm doing like a basic eye I feel super naked so I do generally kind of go a little bit crazy and you're probably gonna judge me and you know what is what it is different strokes for different folks so um, I'm going to go ahead and use the new Anastasia soft plan palette y'all look how filthy this is already Tell me why things that live in my makeup bag get so gross. Like I need to figure out how to clean this because it's nasty. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. You'll see that I've already uh, kind of loved it and used it a bit here um, since I've gotten it. I've had it for maybe a week or so. Um, but it's really beautiful. The colors are stunning. They're nice and warm. Um, and they're just kind of like my go-to. So I'm dead. So we're gonna use this first. I'm gonna go in with orange soda, which is this orangey shade right here. I'm gonna use a big old blendy brush. This is a Sigma E40. Do I like use my camera as a mirror? Am I supposed to use a mirror? Like, do I use a separate mirror? Let's get a mirror, guys. Let's be a little bit professional about this. Professional, okay. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and blend orange soda on my big fluffy brush right into the crease. And this I'm just using, obviously, as my transition color. 
I don't actually um, prime my eyes, so obviously if you need to, if you have issues with eyeshadow creasing throughout the day, you obviously want to put a primer down, and then I always recommend that you set that with like either a your face powder, this is like blocking the whole camera. Uh, you set it with either your face powder or a, an eyeshadow that's similar to your skin tone. For me, like I said, I don't actually use eye primer at all. I just um, blend out concealer and foundation over my lids to kind of neutralize everything. And then I set it with my loose powder while I'm doing my face. So that's the only reason that I'm not, you know, priming and setting right now. But if you needed to do that, then I certainly would uh, eyebrow get back in place. Uh, I certainly would recommend obviously doing that before you go in and start blending um, your crease color and things like that because it can get a bit choppy if you're not um, you know setting everything and making sure that it's gonna go on nice and smooth. So I'm literally just blending out. Can y'all even see this? Oh this is like this is this is some up close ish. All right, so I'm literally just blending out orange soda. I'm taking a little bit more. I want it to be uh, noticeable, and I'm bringing it up pretty high. Oh, it's gonna focus on the freaking mirror, you moron. I'm bringing it up pretty high to my eyebrow because this is, you know, something that the shadows are gonna fade into. Uh, I'm gonna use different colors throughout my crease, um, and then this, you know, like I said, it's gonna kind of be on the outer edge. So I'm bringing it up a little bit high, but not super concentrated up by my eyebrow. And then I also bring it underneath. Um, my eyelid too and again I really like things kind of blown out and messy so I don't mind using a big fluffy brush for this if you want it more like concentrated um, and more like defined then obviously you want to be using a smaller brush a more you know like densely packed brush to really pack the color on where you'd like it to be okay so I feel like everything's super light, like, hello, can you see the orange, orange soda? Yeah, orange soda in the crease. So that is the orange soda in the crease. And I think I'm going to go in with burnt orange, which is, where are you? This color right here, it's a little bit deeper, um, but it is a little bit of a, it has like a brown color to it. It's not super orange. Same brush, I just dipped it in and I am just tapping off the excess because these shadows are a little bit powdery and when you've already done your base like I said before uh, you want to try and prevent fallout it's not always uh, doesn't always work but you know you do what you can girl I'm literally just blending this right into the crease. I'm not going up as high as I did with the uh, the other orange shade, but I'm just blending it back and forth, windshield wiper motions, and then also in little circular motions. Just really make sure that there's no like skipping or anything, uh, if you have any issues with that. And I do like on the inner corner here, if I just go back and forth, I end up getting like these weird creases. I don't even know why that happens, but it does. Um, so I, I usually go ahead and just really try and blend it out really well. And then I will do the same thing underneath the eye. Hello, hello. So everything is kind of blown out there. I hope you can see it. Um, I'm gonna also take. I'm really into like warm tones and super orange colors and things like that. So I'm going to take in this Wet n Wild palette. It's a really, I don't know why I'm showing it to you like that. It's a really beautiful palette. It is their Rosé in the Air, one of their new ones. These are really great. Yo. These are really great quality. So if you, you know, if you can, really great alternative to having to buy like a, a more expensive shadow palette. I'm going to go in with a smaller crease bush that is a little bit dirty at the moment um this is an it cosmetics from Ulta and I'm gonna go in I should probably show you I'm gonna go in with this orange color right here and kind of I'm using a smaller brush so that it's more um concentrated in the crease area same motions just getting it right up in there
I'm gonna take the same orange color and bring it again under the lash line. So once I have that into the crease, I'm going to go ahead and take the same fluffy blending brush that we used initially for the transition colors and just start blending that in, making sure that the edges are nice and blown out and not super harsh and like crazy, you know, unless that's the look you're going for, you know, again, oh, I'm going to go back in a little bit to orange soda. I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia palette with my same smaller fluffy brush here, smaller blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with Sienna, which is a bit of a red, rusty, rusty red. It's a bit of a rusty red kind of brownish color. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, throw that tighter into the crease area and into the outer V section of the eye. You really, generally speaking, um, and the kind of eye that I do, I like to see a lot of the darker color more towards the outer edge here when we're talking about like your crease. So I do kind of concentrate it towards the outside corner here. And you want to make sure that when you're putting your brush down that's packed with, with color, with shadow, you're putting it down on the place where you want to have the most intensity. Because if I put it, you know, put it down here and try to blend that out, the inner corner, wherever I set that brush down first, is going to hold the more the most color. Um, so I always generally start with the outer edge because I know that's usually on a look like this I want the majority of the color or the you know more intense color to be towards the outer edge and then I'm just going to drag that into the inner corner fairly lightly I can't like close one eye at a time some people can do that so I literally am like plopping color and then I shut my eye <laughs> I don't know how people are so talented can you shut one eye at a time Oh, can you also hear my laundry? Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a base kind of color. I always, always, always use some kind of a, like, a, like a cream shadow underneath my shadow on my lids, and I think that really helps to hold the color. Maybe that's why I don't usually have to use primers because it's really stuck onto the tacky base that I'm gonna put on my lid itself. Today I'm actually using uh, a Mali Evercolor Shadow Stick. It's really, these are really, really nice. Um, I feel like the formula is different kind of throughout the color range that they have, which is strange. But the one I'm using right now is a brushed bronze. It looks a little bit sloppy, y'all. <laughs> Cause that's like my motto in life, I'm a hot mess. Um, so I just literally throw that right on my lid. And you know, Maybelline has cream color shot, like anywhere, you can get cream color shadows anywhere. But I really, really liked these when I um, tried them out. And then I just use my finger and blend it out. Just I'm literally just doing this on the lid itself. I'm not putting this into the crease. Since we already put the shadow in the crease, I'm really just using this to hold the lid shadow and really help to intensify that. Okay, so now that my base color is on, I chose to use a darker color because usually that will make the color that you're throwing on top of it really pop and stand out and make it a lot more vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this color I feel like my nails are so ratchet I don't want to point with them. Um, this color is sultry. It's really beautiful um, and I've been loving it on my lids. Um, it's kind of been my go-to look lately. I literally just go in again with my finger. Shimmery colors I usually just go in with my fingertip and throw it right on there. I just pat it on. I don't swipe it. I'm patting it on right on top of that base that's still a bit tacky to help hold and really minimize the fallout that I'm seeing. Uh, like I said, it's still probably going to happen that I'm going to get follow on my cheek, but uh, it's going to help to minimize it with this tackier base. And I even feel like throughout the day, it helps to um, prevent any like flaking off 
I, I forgot I was doing my makeup at work because uh, I was running really late one day last week and I forgot a base and throughout the day I had fallout like all over my cheeks and I was like I've never had that happen and the only thing that I could think of was the fact that I forgot um, like some kind of a cream shadow product to really lock it in all day. Do you see a bit of fallout under my eyes so I'm going to take a really fluffy brush that I have and very lightly just brush it off and you may have to do that a few times throughout the process of you know your eye makeup uh, if you've already done your base but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it girl. So now that I have the lid color, I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics smaller fluffy blending brush. I'm going to go in with Sienna and just help put that back in my crease, deposit a little bit more color, and then also help mesh the lid color itself to the crease so it's not like a harsh line. I'm very gently doing this so that I'm not like wiping away all of the metallic shade, the um, sultry shade that I just put on there, but I want them to kind of be married. I want them to be married. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into the Anastasia palette, grab this mulberry, it's a beautiful like dark bird, and I'm going to use a MAC 217 brush, just put it right on the edge there, and then this is going to go even more concentrated in the crease and the outer corner. Again, I really like the darker shades towards the outer corner of my eye, so I'm kind of just concentrating it here to bring that shadow out. I'm gonna bring this down on the lower lash. I really like kind of a grungy, messy look, so I'm into that. If you're not, you don't have to bring the color down as low as I do. You can just kind of, you know, gently, lightly trace it under the lash line, but I really feel like it brings the whole look together when you have it on top and bottom. If you don't put I if you don't put shadow under your lash line, it's gonna really open up your eyes though, so that is a possibility. It's just a very different look than what I actually go towards dust this off again. I'm actually going to go in and grab a little bit of the black, the Noir, very, very lightly. Um, you can always add more. You can very rarely take away when you're doing stuff like this. So very lightly, I'm just going right at the very edge of the corner here. Like I said before, I'm more of a like bam in your face kind of makeup wearer. So darker and dramatic, that's my jam. I'm also gonna go back into the Wet n Wild palette, go right into that orange again, get some on my big old blending brush that I used initially, and really, really lightly just kind of go over the outer edge of everything. I love to have like this lighter halo look um, around my shadow. I just, I don't know, I really like it. So I'll use, oftentimes I'll use like an orange like this or even like a, a yellow because I usually wear like warmer eye looks and just really blend it out softly. But you know, obviously with whatever look you're going for, just use a lighter color to really marry everything. What's with me and getting married? Um, really blend everything together and finish it up really, really nicely. Okay, so that is the eye look. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just pop on some lashes and mascara and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I have my lashes on. Can you guys believe what a difference a freaking lash will make? I wanted to show you my very favorite lash because I literally can't get enough of it and it's what I'm wearing now. It is the Salon Perfect Wispy 614. You can only find these at Walmart, which I think is crazy. Um, and the majority of the time, because they are so amazing and popular and beautiful, they're sold out. But I went into my Walmart, I don't know if this is like a fluke or what the hell happened, but I went into my Walmart the other night and I was just like browsing around, trying to get my steps and you know, as I do. And um, I saw these and there was a price tag of $1. And I was like, there's no way, this is like an error, like totally wrong. So I went and like went to the other end of the store, used the price checker. It was a dollar. These were a dollar, the individuals. So I literally left three on the shelf because I'm generous and took the rest of them. So I bought, I think, 15 pairs because these are my all time favorite. And if you get, they're usually, I think like $3 a pack. Um, and you can get like a six pack, I think for $9. Um, so this was a great deal. So I literally bought almost all of them, even though, like I said, I'm very generous and I left three behind. It was very hard to do, but I did because I care about other people. So, um, 
so there's that. So I put on my lashes. You might see some gl lash glue still drying because I just did it. Um, I also put some mascara on. I personally put mascara on after I do my lashes. For some reason, for me, when I put lashes, I mean mascara on first, it's so hard to place the lash. So I usually just um, try not to get the mascara on the lash itself because that can really limit the amount of reuses reuses the amount of times you can reuse the item um, because false lashes you can reuse and I don't know I do I personally do you don't have to but I personally do so I try and keep the mascara towards the base on my own lashes just to really um, mix them in well with the lash itself I don't actually go in with like an eyelash curler a lot of people will do that to make them um, kind of blend more seamlessly. I like the look of like the bushiness and yeah you can probably see my lashes underneath but I really like the fullness that it gives the lash. If I were to like squeeze them together it just is you know a thinner line towards my eye and I really prefer having like a big old bushy lash so that's what I do. Do we need to be this this close? Do we? Is it a thing anymore? Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my little inner corner highlight. I'm embarrassed to show you the status of this palette, but it is what it is. It has lash glue all over it, but this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, I don't even want to show you the inside. It's very well loved and used, and I love it. And for my inner corner highlight, almost every day I literally use a mixture of these two colors. They are not matte because God forbid we have a matte like setting shade. I don't understand the concept behind that. These two colors are almost identical and they're both shimmery. So I usually just literally take them, take my pinky and throw them on the inner corner. And it just really wake, like brightens up and kind of awakens and really helps to finish a look. I have to look in the mirror behind me. Um, I can always, like, I always regret it when I forget to put my inner corner highlight on. So the inner corner highlight's on. I think I'm going to go in and put a little bit of liner. I have a um, Urban Decay slide on or glide on eye pencil in Supply. It's a really pretty, like, bronze color. Let's be, like, super classy about this. Um, I just dropped the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this just kind of, like, not even halfway under on the waterline. I don't like to put dark liner all the way in because it really closes my eyes and my eyes aren't you know very big to begin with so I kind of just put it on the outer half outer third of the eyelid or the water line I should say and then sometimes I like to just drag it down into the lash line So there's that a little bit of, it just adds a little bit of definition you know what I mean I'm also gonna go in and put it a little bit in the tight line up here just so that it helps to really blend the lash line together. So that's it you guys. This is my current go-to look using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. It's beautiful. I just got it even more dirty. Like, can we not? I don't know. I think it's the velvet. It's like a soft velvet material, the case. So I literally get fingerprints all over it. It just collects everything. Um, but it's a beautiful palette. So this is what I've been wearing and yes, I do wear this pretty much every day Like this will be I will wear this eye look to the office. I just It is who I am. I can't like I said before I feel super naked if I just like throw on a crease color and some lashes or mascara and I'm out the door I can't I have to like go big or go home. There is no like medium medium temperature with my makeup. It's just like in your face Bam look at me take it in love it or leave it I could care less so um thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you guys found this enjoyable or helpful let me know down below I feel weird making these kind of videos just because again I'm not a beauty guru I'm not a professional I am just showing you what I do because I've had uh, quite a few requests for it so if it's helpful let me know down below and I will try and do some more looks for you guys I don't wear one singular like I look every single day I do try and kind of switch it up a bit but again because I just got the soft glam palette and I really really enjoyed this dramatic smoky eye I've kind of been rocking it for a few days in a row now so any other eye looks any combinations you'd like to see any palettes you'd like to see me use let me know down below I did just buy a little bit too much makeup so I'm probably gonna do a haul I have the Jeffree Star palette the blood sugar palette coming in I'm so excited I did have to buy it on pre-order so I have no idea when that's coming but I'm really excited so let me know down below what y'all think if you guys enjoyed this kind of a video and if you'd like to see it again in the future with other looks and what those looks might be thank you guys so so much for watching I really appreciate you guys being here and I will see you later bye